Morning! So, it is Tuesday, very early, and just another normal day of the week is starting. I already had breakfast and now I have to throw together a couple of meals for some kind of meal prep. It's prepped already because I'm gonna head out for a couple of hours. I, by the way, am very proud of myself. Last week I did hit the macros I set myself every single day because the weeks before I always tried to like save a little bit here and there to incorporate another treat or cheat that would kind of be in my calories then but I didn't really make any progress on, on the scale caused by that I guess. So I want to really have everything as kind of balanced as possible. So last week I was able to eat 2100 calories every single day. I didn't like take over any calories or left out any calories. I still had a treat meal. I like to work with treat meals right now, not treat days because I think it's, I'm not really craving whole three days anymore. I think it goes together with the fact that I'm not in a deficit right now. I eat a lot of food every day anyway, so I'm not really craving anything. Though I have my like meal plan and I don't eat just like donuts or chocolate, like a whole bunch of that every day, but I still have like my one kind of day in between the week I do track and get in the macros. I try to get in with the meal plan as well, um, just with different food so that I can like, play around with a little bit. Uh, but besides that, I feel very good, 2100 calories work well for me. I changed my macros a little bit. I'm not gonna talk about that a lot right now because I first have to like see the progress, if it even makes a difference or if I can like work with that. But anyway, let's me prep a little bit. take with me. Both servings have about half a cup of rice. Here are four ounces of beef. Here is a pollock fillet. Then broccoli just kind of steamed in the microwave and some oatmeal. Um, I'm gonna cook them fresh later with a tablespoon of peanut butter and a Greek yogurt. I've never had this flavor. My favorite one is always already the strawberry cheesecake flavor but banana cream sounds very nice so I'm gonna try that today. You know what? I'm gonna try it right now already. Just just to try it. Wow it is very yellow. No no I was expecting more like a whitish, whitish uh, color. It smells like banana for sure. Mm. Mm. Very creamy, very nice. Oh, I'm excited. I'm gonna finish that later though. Well, I'm gonna be gone now for a couple of hours and when I get back, I will take you through my, I think like pre and post workout routine a little more deeply. Is that a deal? Okay. All right, I'm back and ready to go to the gym to do some back and arms today. And today I just wanna share like my pre and post workout routine a little bit, if you even can call it like that. So everyone's different, right? And I think like pre and post workout routines or routines in general change for every individual as well. Like the things I like to do right now before and after a workout, maybe I don't wanna do them anymore in like two weeks, who knows, but right now, what I really like to do is eat right before my workout. I know some people, they even train fasted if they train in the mornings. I really look up to that. I personally don't do that to like 99%. I like to eat something before my workouts. I feel different uh, during the workout. If I don't have anything in my system, I don't perform that well. Sometimes I have even stomach issues and the worst thing for me is to be hungry at the gym. So I like to eat something before. I tried different things. Um, you see in a couple of my videos, um, there was like this routine where I like to have my treat before my workout. What I realized though is, though they are usually higher in calories, um, still delicious, fun food, but they didn't really like fool me for my workouts. Usually I got hungry in between or like pretty fast and it didn't really, it wasn't really worth it. So I switched up to just have some oatmeal before the gym. It's not a big portion, it's like a pack, so around Put some more water in there. 
This is around 30 grams because I want to have more like a snack size meal before the gym and not an actual meal because that usually sits in my stomach. I try to have like a proper meal with like meat and vegetables before my gym but especially the vegetables I think they just sit in my stomach so um, a pack of oatmeal, 100 calories is perfect. This would have been my first meal of the day, like when I want to go to the gym in the mornings. I like to combine it with some egg whites just to get some protein in, but that's it. I like to keep it plain and simple. I often have my oatmeal with uh, peanut butter, but again, if I train right in the morning, I save this like portion of peanut butter I usually have for breakfast to keep my fat content low before the gym. I like to do that. And I also like to do the same thing after the gym. So have my fat content low around my workouts. All right. And honestly, that's already it for my like <laughs> pre-workout routine. I just eat a lot of it. A lot of people take pre-workouts. They take BCAAs. I do have them too. I don't use them. I can't always stomach that and only thing I do, I fill up my water bottle with some water. Sometimes when I crave like something sweet or like uh, something with flavor, I like to put some like flavor drops in my water. Crystal Light is amazing. Um, I also like this Mio. Mio I usually get with coffee and Crystal Light sometimes without so I can choose and pick if I want to have coffee or not. But that's it. That's it. And then what I have in my gym bag course the water then I always have two different headphones with me because I like to do my workouts with those and cardio with these I don't know why these are so great for cardio for me because they kind of keep back my hair and I always wear them at the gym while I train to kind of be in my zone but I do not <laughs> listen to music I just keep them in my ears to have people stay away of talking to me <laughs> then I also have this tripod with me it's kind of for my phone if I want to take pictures or videos with my phone. My little notebook where I write down my workouts and usually in this pocket here on the side I have a couple of like hair ties stuff like that and then I also always take my iPad phone and that's it. So let's go to the gym. So as I already said I wanted to train back and arms today and I Right now I like to start my workouts with a 15 minutes of like a warm up, an incline walk on usually 3.5 to 3.7 miles per hour and an incline of 5.5 to 8.5. I usually increase the incline um, while I walk and I do usually walk for 15 minutes before I start lifting. All in all, I think it's important to stick to workouts to see improvements. So I like to stick to exercises and weights, aka reps to see if I improve and then increase the weight or increase the reps, things like that. But there's nothing against switching up the routine you are doing at the gym to keep it fun and to keep your muscle a little bit uh, guessing what is going to happen today, right? So what I do right now, I set myself to only have 45 minutes to complete my strength training. Um, for that, I do a lot of supersets and drop sets because I also don't really focus anymore on how many sets I do with each machine or each exercise. I just want to really like destroy the muscle in every set. So I do like to work with a lot of um, drop sets right now. I feel a big difference. I feel so much kind of more dead after my workout and the intensity is just way higher it's it's great and it keeps me away from thinking like oh I still have three exercises to go maybe I should only give 80% right now you know that's not a good thinking I think like that's my opinion though just so I like to do that right now maybe it will change soon again but I really enjoy those kind of workouts right now so I did today four back exercises and in between I supersetted that with arm exercises because I try to focus more on my back right now than my arms that's why um, my arm muscles is like my secondary muscle group right now but again there you can switch around and switch it up focusing on your preferences and just make the workout fit to you all right, um, so I usually work out in our apartment gym, meaning I have a like way to the gym and back from about a minute to two, meaning I always eat my um, post-workout at home. If 
I would go somewhere else to work out and I would have a ride of, I don't know, even like 10 to 15 minutes to get home. I would try to take my post-workout with me just for the sole reason I, I just don't like to waste the time where my body could already refuel and use the energy, use the carbs, use the proteins to repair the muscles. Um, especially it's not nice to be hungry. I hate being hungry. I'm hungry right now. So let's make the post-workout. <laughs> shake and cereals. All it takes for me to be happy after a workout. The protein shake turned out amazing, like perfect today. Sometimes it's too watery, sometimes it's too icy. It's delicious. So I use 20 grams of protein powder and about like a serving of cereals. Because I try to have 20 grams of protein and carbs right after my workout. Some people say protein is like the one macro you have to have right after a workout. Other people say carbs are way more important. Protein has time. I think everyone has the same opinion about uh, fats, that you don't really need fats right after a workout. But besides that, there is like a big discussion always. If you even have to eat anything right after a workout or if it doesn't matter and you just need to get in your calories and your macros during the day. The only thing I can tell you is I feel a difference eating uh, or taking in protein and carbs right after my workout. I feel way better throughout the day after I worked out. If I don't like fool my body right after, I feel very tired and sluggish and like ache, achy, achy during the rest of the day. So I do 20 grams of carbs, 20 grams of protein because I don't think any like macro is more or less important. Also a reason why I switched up my daily macros a little bit, but that's another topic. If you wanted me to talk about that a little bit more deeply, let me know. Shoot me a comment and I'll do that um, maybe tomorrow in the video. But yeah, protein, carbs, I try to keep my fiber low and I don't care about sugar after my workouts. Oh, and one more thing, because today it happened again. Usually I want to take my supplements um, in the morning with my breakfast but sometimes I forget that so when there is a day like today I just take my supplements after my workout and I do take an iron magnesium and probiotics plus um, multivitamins and uh, hair skin and nail soft juice because after a workout and in the morning uh, your body can like absorb the, the nutrients the best I heard that at least and I mean you have to take it anyway, so why not trying to do it to the best time, right? But yeah, that's it. I'll enjoy my post-workout right now. My camera is about to die, so I need to charge it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.